Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies. I'm Ian. And we are here for the finale, the two hour finale for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Series finale. Whew. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> this is one of the first shows I did on the channel. I mean, it went up late, like real late. But it was the first one I recorded for the channel. And then it went up later. <laughs> but, man. Whew. All right, so yeah, last episode, um, the shield was essentially destroyed. All the bases were being shot by uh, the Chronicoms. They shot their space lasers up from space, took each one out with one shot. Um, don't know how we're gonna be fixing that. Uh, Simmons forgot Fitz because uh, Nathaniel went too far into her mind, and so it pushed his his memory so far down. It's like his the idea of him, the memories of him, in general, just they're all gone. They're all hidden away. So that sucks. Um, yeah. Um, let's just get started. <laughs> oh. They felt that. They totally felt that. Nice flying, Tremors. I thought it was Quake. Tremors uh oh. Oh! Hit? This looks really good. <laughs> oh my god. Pulling out all the stops for the finale, guys. Max arms are massive! Sorry, I had to get that one in before the finale. The Chronicoms won't be so... Amateurish? Pedestrian? Ham-fisted? We have a more precise method of retrieving information. Ah! Hey! Ah! Even the Triskelion? Are you okay? Oh, crap. I will be. It's just... Can she feel a lot? All of you that? You can feel all those lives lost. Jesus. Why weren't we attacked? Sybil knows where we are. She's smart. Um, I, you, maybe this will help, okay? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I'm the man you love. I, I, we're a team. You're bio. I'm tech. My name is James Lee. Bond. Okay, no, but that's not entirely surprising. <laughs> not Never mind. Bad. Um, She's not going to stop me from getting back, Simmons. And Deke. Sure. <laughs> Aww, so, how are we going to do this? Daisy. Yeah. Didn't know I was going to do that. I'm glad you did. Impressive. Thank you. I didn't see you coming because it is meaningless. You are too late. Every shield base has been destroyed. The war is over. And you've lost. Let's just kill them now. We didn't come this far to fail. Not like this, not to a bunch of robots. She has to be lying. <laughs> What else do we have? I'm surprised that my sister is here. How did I become this me? I don't know. But I like this you. And if I'm completely honest, I like this me as well. And did you think I was gonna just teleport straight into those? No, I thought it'd be way cooler to have them teleported onto you. Well, that would be a neat trick. <laughs> well, I'd love to stay in chat, but there's some very impressive explosives about to blow, so... Ta-ta! <laughs>
Yeah, that hurts, don't it? It's gotta suck. That hurts. <laughs> well, let's try again. <laughs> Keep doing it, actually. So we're Tell entertaining. Us how to these. I can't. I just need a little more time. Ten minutes tops. Otherwise, if this baby blows, I'm gonna blow. Then I'm gonna take this opportunity, in case I don't see you again, to thank you for your service. Son of a bitch. Yo, you good? Yo, yo. We are here to take your faces. Lord knows you could do a lot better than the ones you're wearing now. I'm pretty sure they don't understand sarcasm. Or joking. They'll understand this. Oh, yeah. I've seen. Oh, season one. <laughs> Dang, I haven't seen that in forever. I'll show in a future where S.H.I.E.L.D. abandoned me. How come it's playing out the exact opposite? Malik showed you an old timeline. This one's different. Nothing's written. It's not too late to be on the right side of history. Are you gonna make Garrett a good guy? Looks like I'm wearing a white hat from now on. We have to go. Gemma. She doesn't remember her either? What's going on? I injected her with something. We're gonna get you somewhere safe, but we have to go, okay? Why are you wearing that costume? It's... It's not a costume, it's a protection. <laughs> Can I have one? Yes. yes. Come on, follow me and you'll get one. Wow, well, that's real peachy. Did you just say peachy? Yeah. Come on. If we get out of here, I gotta get you some new words. And hey, don't dude. let Daisy hear you talking like that. What, does it mean something bad now? No, it's... Never mind. It's a fine word. You're a fine man. Back at Area 51, the Chronicoms tried to turn Helios into a nuclear bomb using just one of their robots. Sousa! Look at you! What kind of damage could we do with these six? A hell of a lot. Sousa, you are the best! <laughs> What have you done? Well, what are you talking about? Cora. I was trying to protect you. I don't need protection. Oh, thank God. Oh, that looks so freaking cool. Get Simmons back to the Zephyr. Don't wait for me. So what's the plan now? Is it something that doesn't involve a suicide bomb? Because this looks a lot like a suicide bomb. Mm, this was in case Daisy didn't find you guys. I'll go for Daisy. Stand down, Agent Sousa. And do what? Find me some duct tape. You are responsible for this. You don't think Daisy's bad? <laughs> okay. Well, we'll just have to agree to disagree. Okay, I thought Daisy was gonna show up. Kimball, you interested in a promotion? Absolutely. Then lock her up in a cell. use the door instead of this crazy teleportation device your friend might still be alive does that mean I just killed one of her own oh sorry not sure what happened oh it's good it's just new where did you get this I don't remember exactly 
Maybe from my friend Enoch or uh, one of the Koenigs. Thank you. Here's something much more interesting. There's a hundred percent chance that this is the last time the S.H.I.E.L.D. team will ever be together. The end is at hand. Oh, stop saying that. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to go through this. I'm not going to go through all of these because there's too much. And I want to get to the last bit. And I got a lot of editing to do. How am I gonna edit this down? This finale is always like the absolute worst to edit. Oh, okay. Man, after I don't even know. Like, he was stuck in a he was in a, a pocket or so. I'm assuming of sorts. That's kind of what kept them kept them safe. She said he was in the open. But as long as they didn't know and she didn't know, he'd be safe. I don't wonder how long he'd been there. And was he aware? Like, would it have put him like in a stasis? Like, knocked out? He wouldn't, like, would he have been aware of passage of time? Or was it different time? Like, time was it, like instant for him. But after all this, getting back to her, and she doesn't remember him. Okay. <sighs> so. All right, uh, where do we go? Uh, I love that Matt that he called Daisy Tremors again. Um, in this point, um, that confused Susan though. <laughs> um, then he get a chance to really go in. I mean, it was not super important, but well, but it is in the same in, in a way for us, the fans, <sighs> and obviously probably to them too for Daisy and Mac. And, but <coughs> so that he called her Tremors. Um, but yeah, Cora, she seems to have flipped on Nathaniel, and Nathaniel took her, or like he knocked her out anyway. He didn't kill her for some reason. Um, he, I'm, I'm wondering if he actually cared about her. I, at first, I thought it was just like manipulating her, which I mean, he probably obviously was, but I, I, I don't know if he was like as, if he cared for her as well, which would be weird considering they, they don't know each other that well. But it's just like maybe the the passion of and the, and the adrenaline of, you know, anarchy and crap and whatever, I don't know, um, and the power that they shared might have attracted him to her. I don't know. Um, but she's still alive. Uh, she let Daisy go. I was wondering if it was, like, some kind of plan that they had to to prove to her that Nathaniel was just going to use her, and I thought Daisy was going to come in and help. But no. Um, you know, I'm a little... Uh, I don't... Daisy should have really picked on the picked up on the fact that she wanted that that Sybil might have wanted Daisy to get the gem considering that two Parnicomas literally passed her by and she was like it's almost like they wanted me to get to you. It was like, Daisy, come on But she really didn't care, she just wants to get to them. Um all the other like little Mag I like I'm really love I love the Mac and Susa scenes. Even like even this like really small ones. It's like right after he uh Susa kissed Daisy, he just like Impressive. Just like, alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you now. Um, 
don't know what that was. <laughs> but just that he was, I don't know, <laughs> like, smooth move, buddy. <laughs> and when we're talking about him, we need to teach you some new words. And he's just like, but why? Do they, do they mean something bad? And he's like, not bad. Forget, forget it. You're, they're good. They're good words. You're a good guy. It's all good. Um, oh, God. I didn't expect... May's abilities have, like, expanded to a tremendous amount. Like, she felt all those lo those lives lost, which I can't even imagine. Like, was she feeling, like, the, like, the snuff, like, the... What was she feeling? Like, how did that feel? Was it more like the despair in the last moments of living before it was completely gone? Or what was it they were, that she felt? Um... And I, for saying I thought that we were just going to get like a good John Garrett um, in this timeline. But uh, nope, he's just dead. <laughs> so he wouldn't have affected Ward. So maybe, uh, what's her name? Tiffany? Was it? Oh, Victoria Hand. I knew it was Hand was in the name. I knew Hand was in the name. But we saw her again, which is interesting, uh, in the Hydra uh, framework thing. She's the one that found and trained and mentored Ward. So... With her being alive and uh, with uh, I'm thinking Garrett being dead, the timeline will have a good ward, even though we won't be able to see it. Maybe there'll be like an epilogue, and we'll see a good Grant Ward, and we'll see Brett Dalton again for the very for the very last episode of the show. Oh, come on, Brett Dalton has to be hit in the very last, like a few moments, a, a moments. Um, I just I love that. They've changed so much. Like, going back to season one, May, just how cut off and, like, her shut off she was, how, the, like, the barriers she had, keeping her emotions in line. And even here, with the abilities that she had and what, and just, like, what she went through has kind of caused her, almost forced her to feel emotions, to, to embrace emotions. Um, even to where she wasn't, she's even asking questions that she wouldn't have asked before. Um, <laughs> and Coulson is just a, a techie guy now. Oh, I mean, he's not just a tech, tech guy, but, you know, he's he's way more tech savvy than he was before. Um, uh, it's just, it's a very, like, flip. I mean, they're, they, he didn't lose, like, his Coulson-ness, and she didn't lose what made her great, what made May great. Um, like, her just sharpness, her bluntness, her straightforwardness, that's all still there, but there's, like, that extra bit of also, like, Empathic, not that she wasn't before, but like just obviously to another level. Um, even though when she went in and like, uh, like she got really emotional and hugged Daisy, and Daisy was taken aback by that. And even that's where she was like, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened there, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Um, but I'm really liking just where the characters have, got, have come, especially me and, and Coulson. Um, that Coulson's technically still alive. Throughout all this, um, uh, I I love going back in toward the Souza, like his idea, like him going, like thinking back, uh, when, when he, uh, his time, that the Chronicoms were using their that one of their own, to basically turn the turn a create a nuke. He was like, why don't we just use all of these guys and do the same thing? He was like, hey, D Souza. You're the best. <laughs> like I'm so I'm so glad we added you to the group. I have to reference those that don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm just so, I'm so happy here. I'm just I'm really worried he's gonna die. I, I, I hope that doesn't happen. Um, but I guess we'll see though. Um, obviously, because that is the next episode. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Blah, blah. So we kind of kind of sort of addressed. Sybil's like not seeing every single thing, or at least not like accounting for everything. Just everything to her is just so minute or so inconsequential that they just kind of fly under her radar. She's like, that's not going to mean anything. It's not going to do anything. We're just going to leave that alone. But what she doesn't seem to understand <laughs> is that our people, they defy logic and expectations. <laughs> um, so uh, we're going to win this. I mean, it's our it's our freaking show. It's our finale. Sorry, Sybil, but you may not have noticed. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, let's see. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I don't. I guess we're not gonna be getting the other the bases back. Like I think this is just like the timeline. I don't. It's just gonna be very different. Like it's just gonna be rebuilding maybe. But even Sybil's like it's a hundred percent chance that it's the last time they'll be together. So I don't know what that's gonna mean exactly. And I don't like it. Um, I just like the <laughs> even though it, it was sad to see that Gemma didn't recognize Daisy seeing as how close they are you know that, how, that they're family she doesn't recognize him but she's like why are you wearing a costume Daisy's like it's not a costume it's, it's, it's for protection um and Gemma she's like can I have one uh I just uh, even though there was that initial sadness and it was still there obviously but like just kind of lining it you know, a little bit with just the the, the humor just like kind of calling out like why are you wearing a costume even though, I mean, it's not, it is for protection, I, I, yeah, but it's just, I mean, it's kind of sort of designed to be a costume, so I just kind of like that they're kind of <laughs> poking at that, um, uh, they kind of sort of take a little bit of the weight off of, uh, the, the emotional part of that fact that she's not remembering them, um, uh, but I would, th I would thought with, with the thing being dissolved that it would have eased off, eased, eased up on, the suppression but it's I guess that's not the, it was more so that it just pushed it deep so now it's, it's there it's it's gone I mean the the, the barrier is gone but it's still like kind of caved in it's like something is malleable and then it just kind of something else pushes against it and you take that away it's still going to be in the state it was before um need assistance need help to kind of reform it back I'm, I'm hoping it there's not going to be any lasting damage um, but I guess we'll see. Um, uh, probably should have recognized. There were some people I don't think I recognized in the, like, or not recognized necessarily. But Agent Mulcahy uh, or Kimball. I don't. I don't know. I think so. I know some of them was probably supposed to be one of them was supposed to be. I don't know what the heck I'm saying. I'm pretty sure one of them was supposed to be uh, one of uh, Trip's grandparents. Uh, might have been the the last guy that showed up. I don't know, not him, but like I don't know. I, I have no idea. It's just kind of the way that it kind of focused on him. I'm, it's not really connecting, and I'm gonna be really upset when I find out what it is afterwards. But it is what it is. Yeah, okay. And it was really cool that Enoch, throughout the decade that he was there, hid pieces of the key to bring him back, to bring Fitz back, throughout you know places and, and just time itself it was that was awesome um because i was thinking like did, Debra, did Gemma? did they make that and like time travel and put it and leave it places but it was more so just that you know uh oh my gosh, i think i'm off i don't know <laughs> um but it was more so that uh obviously enoch had it he just took it apart and spread it out they created it but that was why they're there so that was really cool um but okay uh we're just gonna we're gonna go into this for now as quickly as possible. I'm gonna so this is this is it for now. Um, man, okay, it's oh guys, I don't know about this. <laughs> oh, we're already gonna oh, be like it. <sighs> okay, all right, so that's it for this episode. Uh, we're gonna go right to the next one. Um, that I don't know when that'll be up. I'm gonna try to get these up as quickly as possible, but it takes a long time to edit and computer slow. Anyway, um, subscribe uh, to stick around for that. Patreon for any kind of series. Home stretch guys, home stretch.